Okay. Give him a good sign. Your good sign. You don't get a good sign. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, it's on, by the way. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you go ahead. You say salam alaikum and talk about your channel, and then I'll come and join you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad, and uh, I'm here with the great seeker himself, <laughs> Abdul Jalil, Mullah Abdul Jalil. And today we have a short video for you guys. But before that, I would want you guys to go and subscribe to my channel as well, out here 89. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. I'm just waiting for him to come back. The man of the hour. Man of the hour, bro. You give the Juma Juma Futwa. You give the Bayan. It's harder. Nah, get out of here. <laughs> so Morana Mahmoud is here, and he's a Hafiz too. That's something that I'm not. So anytime I see a Hafiz, I get really what did I say? Jealous? That's not the uh, word for it. Envious. I become word. very envious in a very positive way because I'm like, yo, he has a blessing that I don't. Can you please share with them when you were on a roll? In the, at the end of your his class. Oh yeah, yeah. It, was, it was hectic. <coughs> no, the big, big lessons you were doing at the end by the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. Those are, the, because the hadith tells us, or the Quran tells us to do the hadith bin Ni'ma. Yeah. Mention Allah's blessing upon you, so please. Okay, so should I take that on? Oh, I don't even have to. Is it, can you still hear? No, 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 I want you to have it. Okay, yeah, so I was studying the Quran 10 years ago, and uh, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah, I finished memorizing the entire Quran. And uh, what Mulan was talking about was the last few uh, juz of the Quran or the Paras. I did it quite fast. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Which was very <coughs> extraordinary because uh, when I first started memorizing the Quran, it was very hard. So this is for the people who actually want to memorize Mulan himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's never too late. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never too late. And just because you don't memorize a lot now, your memory gets better in in the, in the in the long run. So. To all the people who want to become a Hafiz, I'm telling you guys it's possible. And uh, yeah, just just make a lot of dua. And remember, it's never too late. So what yeah. was the miracle? I was uh, memorizing a few, uh, 10, 11 pages a day. Mm. And uh, yeah, I didn't, I never seen myself uh, accomplishing that. But it's all from the grace and bounty of Allah. Grace. Yeah, grace seeker. <laughs> <laughs> but what was your biggest record? It was half a just. And how long? Over in a day a, over a weekend or over no it was one day no yeah no the last uh, uh i remember 26th par yeah the, the second half yeah i finished in one day i remember yeah. oh like, seriously yeah what was what like 15 pages yeah, i don't know i've never half it no a par is 30 pages <laughs> yeah so 15 if you cut it in half 15 16 pages oh. yeah. <laughs> that's the real flex <laughs> mashallah no, that's it's, amazing it's possible for anyone like no, it's a blessing, man. Like, if we take care of our minds and take care of our times, like, our time is blessed. So if we save our time, like, that time, I'm sure you weren't wasting time anywhere. Yeah. You weren't wasting time on YouTube, that's for sure. No, that's <clears throat> So you took care of your time, and you took care of your mind and soul. You were dedicated to the Quran, and Allah blessed you. As you yeah. went further, the blessing becomes bigger and bigger. And it says, وَلَقَدْ يَسَنَّ الْقُرْآنَ لِلْذِكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُتَكِرِ The Quran is easy to memorize. Allah made it easy for us to memorize. So is there anyone to remember it? Yeah. That hits hard, man. That hits hard. Anyway, so Mara Mahmoud is here, and uh, in the long run, we, we want to make a few podcasts together. Hopefully, the short run, and then in the long run, we can do tons of other things, inshallah. Sure. More fun things when we're more balling. Right now, we're not balling much, right? No, like things are slow. Of course. <laughs> yeah, well, I slow down. Yeah, so <laughs> once we become big, <laughs> big ball brand, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> is that a flop? Yeah, they're full. Ah, I, don't, I don't like those guys. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I messed it up. I said, a, I said a bad luck word. No, no, it's whatever. Yeah, so anyways, I recently bought a few those collector cars, the toy cars. And, uh, <clears throat> and I want to mention the psychology behind it. I know that sounds crazy, but I want to mention it. As children, whatever you play with, it kind of stays with you. And whatever dreams you have as a child and if you're not able to achieve them or a certain toy you like and you grow up every time you see this still brings back your memories and this kind of goes really deep and creepy into 
if you didn't have a blessing and your kids have it, if it's a blessing that you have and your kids never, no, you don't have, you didn't have as a child, but your kids have it, study psychology. You'll be surprised. Parents become jealous of their kids. So if, and sometimes, for example, if a mother didn't have her father's love and she sees her daughter getting spoiled by her husband, it actually bothers her psychologically. This is deep. That means a mother starts getting jealous of her own daughter when the father shows too much love to her and vice versa yeah, yeah. so if a father if a mother is loving her son a lot and the son the father of the child didn't have enough motherly love it actually bothers him after a while it's crazy and uh, one channel what is it? i think called the school of life it's a very like a in interesting channel talks about all the psychology psychological stuff so he mentions don't like this is real it's actually you actually start having problems mm -hmm. you don't really hate your child it's just that you hate the blessings that he's having and you never had so yeah. it really bothers you on some levels although you're happy for your child but somehow you're actually also crying within yourself because the child within you is still crying yeah. is that like more of a subconscious thing yeah or it's, yeah, yeah. No, it's subconscious it's really messed up because you you feel like you're still that child like for example your child is eight year old yeah and you remember your eight year old childness and then you see how uh, helpless you were yeah. so you get upset at this eight year old because you as eight year old didn't have it there's almost like a weird outer and external fight where you see you're imagining yourself and this child was so spoiled and it starts bothering you in weird ways that you cannot explain so you love your child but you also hate it for some yeah. reason because so the human mind is tricky man when you go down that path it gets really scary so anyways i bought these cars why did i buy it i had a few cars but in my childhood i always wanted to buy cars <clears throat> these bigger cars that way the doors open actually so i bought a few now and uh, I also bought it mainly to put it behind me as a showcase to show some... You're going to put it here? Maybe here. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like... Yeah. Yeah. Although it's an office. office. It's a masjid office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I was going to use the next office and put a backdrop, eh? I was, oh, yeah? was going to put a wooden backdrop. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It has a very bad air quality, but yeah, I don't mind. But I was going to fix that up. I was going to try to go in there. Mm -hmm. The next office, a bigger office. We'll get more lighting in there. And I can help uh, you with that, too. With what? Like I'll come and we'll clean it up. Really? Yeah. That'll, that'll be nice. So, and then, yeah, the woodwork, we can do some of that wood. <coughs> the wood the wood backdrop, I heard there's some in Home Depot where mm -hmm. it's a thin piece of wood, but once you put it up, it looks like planks of wood. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get that, we'll put it back up, and so let's see what happens. Okay. So, yeah, I was going to put it in the showcase, and then these are the cars. Morana yeah. Sab just brought it all the way from Brampton or wherever he bought it from. I asked him for a favor to buy it for me, so he bought it, and then he bought it today for the, on Juma. Yeah, it's, it's an honor to do anything for this guy. <laughs> I feel like a child because I literally called him and said, bro, can you bring he my toys? toys yeah. <laughs> he was so confused. Was confused. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I think Mulan is losing it. No, at first I thought you meant like a small, small toys. <laughs> yeah, but even those are collectibles, eh? Yeah, they're really old. They're like 30, 50 bucks for those tiny little things. Yeah. Yeah. The, basically, it depends on which car. So if it's a 1975 Dodge, whatever. Mm -hmm. So it'll be very expensive, like 50, okay. 60 bucks for those little. And what are these called? Die cast. Yeah, die cast. So these are all die cast. Okay. There's metal in it, I think. Yeah. So it's a start, break one. So yeah, die cast, because there's a little bit of metal. And actually, this one doesn't feel so heavy. Yeah, and nice though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should he make camera a little closer by now, or is it fine? Uh, to see no. the cars? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. No, I'll do that, I'll do that. Why would you do that? Uh, you continue with unpacking if you want to pull a few more. Mm. I'm sure some of the people watching would know more about cars, because I don't know much about cars. That's yeah, just tell I them to like leave a comment down below if oh, yeah. they know anything. That's sure, you said that. Go ahead. That's what, uh, leave a comment down below if you guys know anything about cars. Yeah, sick. I feel like this. Our faces will be an issue because probably bringing me down a bit. There you, you go. Want some, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. How many cars was it? Do you remember? It was eighteen, nineteen. It was fourteen when you first told me, yeah. and then he had two extra. Okay. okay. Like a, I feel like a man child. <laughs> Everyone has their vices. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's not so bad, right? Yeah. You know what the guy told me? He's like, um, the only reason why I'm selling these yeah. is that I want to use the money for crypto. 
Really? Yeah, I'm gonna buy a few uh, bitcoins and Ethereum. But that's not even much money. I don't know, Imagine 240, right? Yeah. yeah. If, he, if he likes it, I'm surprised he sold it, right? Yeah. Ooh, this I just see. He just threw it in there? There's someone probably threw it in there? No, he actually threw this one here. That one, I didn't see that one on that in the... I just see any, anything with the box, I didn't see anything. Really? Yeah, that looks you got nice. lucky. Oh, these are heavy. Remember what I was telling you die cast? Yeah. These are die cast. Hold it. Oh, wow. Metal. Yeah, it's metal. That's what, it, that's what die cast means. <coughs> these are badass. I mean... <laughs> I like this one. Yeah, that's... I, I love that's old so nice. cars. Yeah. I love old cars. Looks like that's, a mafia type, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bad words. Like these ones, right? Yeah. Wow, so I have such a bad taste for old cars. Although they're bad technology sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if you get an old car that's still functional yeah. and it's not it's not so bad on gas, it's then good. then it's good, yeah. yeah. That's why I, I couldn't get over my ninety nine Civic. My first oh, car. car yeah. I kept buying it three more times and I got so much financial losses through the it. Same car? Yeah, the, not the, the same person's car, yeah. but the same type of the car. Same type, yeah. yeah, I bought it three times almost. Oh, this one looks nice. Yeah. Probably a Porsche, right? Yes. Porsche. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Porsche. There's a Porsche. Yeah, that looks sick. So, so you, you have three Ferraris already, right? Yeah. There's a fourth one right here. This oh, one. this one too, yeah. Yeah. I think he was a Ferrari guy, eh? Yeah. yeah put, put on your shirt if you want, if you want to continue doing stuff. <coughs> This one looks like Ooh, is that a dust in there? Yeah. Well, you know for the Salah, right? Yeah. Was the volume too low? Mm, you were just like feeding Timmet. It wasn't low.